Hey guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel. I'm Morgan, and today I'm going to be doing a day in my life. So, it is currently 9.40, but it's technically 8.40 because today is daylight saving. But I just got home from my dad's house, and my mom's sister just went to work. So I'm going to make my oatmeal for breakfast. And the day has finally come where I pretty much have gone through this entire ginormous jug of oatmeal. But we're going to go to the food store today, so I'm going to buy another one of these. They last like a whole month, so it's great. But yeah, so today, I don't really have any plans. I think it would be fun if we maybe like went to like TJ Maxx or HomeGoods or something like that. And like looked for gifts for my birthday party because at my party, I explained this in my last vlog. I'm gonna be doing the wrapping paper game, so we need like a bunch of presents for that. So I kinda wanna go somewhere to look for presents maybe, I don't know though. Just because I feel like my birthday party is gonna like sneak up on us and it's gonna be here sooner than we think. And then we're gonna be like unprepared, so I don't know. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Oh my gosh, so my sister and I used to have a YouTube channel together. And last night I was literally re-watching like all our old videos and I was just cringing so bad. Like we were so like, or just me specifically, like I was so cringy and weird. And like my voice was so like high pitch and like it just was, it was bad. And it was when I was, I used to have bangs like straight across and during like COVID kind of somewhere around like while we were in lockdown, I decided to grow them out. So I was just like, in those videos, my bangs were at a really awkward stage in growing out and it just looked so bad. And I just, I was going through a bad stage, you know? Not that I look like that much better now, but like, it was just really bad with the hair. The bangs were just not, it was bad. Anyway, on my oatmeal today, I'm gonna have some strawberries and blueberries and like granola and stuff. Oh, I showed this in my, one of my recent videos, but they were out of the kind peanut butter granola that I, oh, sorry, one second, I gotta stir my oats. So they were out of the kind peanut butter granola, so I had to buy this bare naked one, and I tried it the other day. It was pretty good, I think. I don't know, I still prefer the kind one. So if they have the kind one today, the kind it's the brand by the way but if they have that at the food store today i'm probably gonna buy it just because i don't know if i can go through this whole bag like it's not my favorite it's not bad i think i need to try it again though because yesterday i mixed it with the kind one because i had like a little bit of the kind one left but I, today i'll just have it on its own and i'll see how i feel also i kind of like i saw these um three ingredient peanut butter cookies where you literally just do like peanut butter, sugar, and I think an egg or something, and then you like make cookies. So I kinda wanna try that out, maybe today I will. And I also saw this like really easy air fryer chicken and veggies recipe thing that I kinda wanna try for dinner tonight for the whole family. I could like, I could like cook for the whole family, you know? I love cooking, I don't know why, but I just do. Like maybe I'll do that, I don't know though. Probably, probably not, but maybe. Also, my birthday, I asked for, I'll tell you guys later in this video, I'm gonna do a little segment later in this video and tell you guys everything I'm asking for for my birthday. Also, yesterday I made this salad. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Like, I don't know what I did really, but it was so good. And I'm gonna make it again for lunch today because I like made leftovers for today and i'm so excited it was literally amazing like i i don't know how i did it and i made like homemade dressing which i have such like a hard time finding dressings that i like because literally if i don't like, like if i try dressing it like makes me gag like dressings like i don't like them usually the only one i've ever really liked that i bought at like the store well, I like like Caesar dressing, but like Caesar dressing doesn't really go with like anything other than just like romaine lettuce and like stuff. Like with like, I made it with like chickpeas and like apples and everything. So I'm not gonna have Caesar dressing with that, obviously. But like every other type of dressing that I try, I hate, except for the Trader Joe Green Goddess dressing. That stuff is so good, but so I had to make my own homemade one. And every time I make it though, it makes me like gag. Like I'm like, whenever I try like dressing on my finger or whatever, I just like, it like makes me sick half the time, which I think it's just cause I'm trying it by itself. So I'm obviously probably not gonna like it, but whatever, I made a dressing and it tasted good with the salad. So I'm very happy about that. I don't know, like really, you can't really taste the dressing with everything else. So it probably doesn't really matter what the dressing is. I don't think anything I just said made any sense. 
at all. So I'm really sorry. Um, I'm gonna just go eat and there's my ounce. Um, and I'm gonna go shut up because I am just rambling. So it has been a little while. I've just been kind of reading my book. Actually, I've been sitting right there on the couch reading. But I asked my mom and sister if we could go to like Home Goods and TJ Maxx and stuff today to like look for little prizes for the wrapping paper game and literally my sister and I texted at the exact same time and she was asking if I wanted to go do that today just when I texted and asked if they wanted to. I don't know how that happened. It was literally the exact same time. So weird. But yeah, so we're gonna go there. I'm very excited. But right now I'm gonna do my what I want for my birthday little part of the video and tell you guys what I'm asking for for my birthday. And obviously I'm not expecting everything. I feel like everyone makes this disclaimer, but I'm not expecting to get all this. These are just some ideas. It's like my little birthday list, whatever. This is also just to give you ideas if you, if your birthday or something is coming up and you need some ideas of what to ask for, maybe this will give you some ideas. I don't really know. First thing that I'm asking for is a rice cooker. Very random, but I, I've seen like people with rice cookers before and there's this one that's like a mini rice cooker they sell it at like target and it's also on amazon and i forget what it's called i'll insert a picture but so cute like it's just like a little mini rice cooker and i make rice all the time so like it would be perfect and i always make the like pre-packaged like little like rice things that you just microwave because they're just easy but like this would be also easy but like more like i get to actually make the rice like instead of just using the little packets and stuff. The next thing that I'm asking for is puzzles, which if you've been watching my videos recently, I have been on a puzzle kick. I actually haven't done my puzzle in forever because I'm doing this one puzzle, but it's like small pieces and I don't really like the small pieces as much, but I want some more of the like big piece puzzles by Ravensburger, like literally any of them. Like they have so many cute designs on Amazon. Oh, I'm also asking for a new journal because I've been journaling recently and my journal is almost filled up. So I really want a new one. And I have like a journal that locks, which I really like because like I don't want anyone looking at it. So I want another one of those. Oh, and then there's these three products on Sephora that I'm asking for. There's two things from Rare Beauty. One is the Rare Beauty blush and then the Rare Beauty highlighter. I don't have any Rare Beauty products, but I have just heard so many great things. And my sister has the blush, actually. I got her that for Christmas, and she really likes it. I tried it out, and I really liked it, so I'm asking for that, but, like, in a different shade. And then I've heard that the highlighter is super good, so I really want that. And then I also asked for this Glossier Bomb.com, which I didn't know they had that for, but they do, apparently. And I'm asking for the birthday cake one. I just love, like, cake batter-flavored things. And I love the bomb.coms, so I really want that. And it has, like, the new applicator where you can apply it without, like, you don't have to use your finger. It has, like, an actual applicator. So that'll be nice. Um, I'm trying to think. If, what else did I ask for? Oh! Oh, my God. I'm forgetting, like, the biggest thing. I want the Doc Martin. I don't remember the exact name. I'll put a picture. I don't know what they're exactly, like, the number they're called, but they're just, like, the basic platform, low top, I guess, Doc Martens. Oh, I've seen these shoes everywhere and they're so cute. I've literally always wanted Doc Martens and I don't know, I've just never really actually asked for them because like I've always been like, I don't know, but I've just been seeing them so much and I just, I need them. So that's like my main thing I'm asking for. It's the most expensive thing, but I really hope I get them. They're so cute. So yeah, that is everything I'm asking for for my birthday. I think I'm gonna go make lunch in a little. It's like 12:30 almost. I am making that salad that I was telling you guys about earlier. I'm so excited. And also, I was telling you guys about that like air fryer chicken thing I wanted to make for dinner, but I don't know anymore because I was reading the comments and everyone's saying how it looks really dry and not good. So maybe I'm not gonna make that. I don't know. I might just make like chicken with like rice and something else i don't know we'll figure it out but i also got like no sleep last night because of that daily savings i probably got like six seven hours so kind of tired right now and i can't believe we school tomorrow it does not feel like a sunday at all oh and also i took my um social test on friday not feeling good about it not feeling good at all and i have an 89 in the class so i need to do well but I'm not feeling great about it. Hopefully she'll grade it tomorrow. I just need to know what I got, but I also don't wanna know at all. 
because I'm terrified. All right, guys, it's time to make lunch. All right, first up, we need some spinach. I never thought I would like spinach, like, just like, as the base of my salad, but I actually, I liked it, so. Here's our spinach. Next, we need some apple. Okay, so I have some apple and some red onion. I've actually, I've realized that I love onions. I don't know why. So I just kind of like take a few pieces, just kind of break them up in here. All right. Next, I've got some chickpeas that I'm just going to season with like salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder. And then this, I roasted some sweet potatoes yesterday. Like I roasted an entire sweet potato and I just divided it up into two little servings. So I ate the other half yesterday. And then I have the other half to add to the salad today. And I also have some feta cheese and I have my homemade dressing. So yeah, that is my lunch. And I'll show you when I'm done putting it all together. All right, you guys, look at this salad. Oh my goodness. This is like my kind of salad. It's literally all my favorite things. shopping i'll do a haul for you guys later but i found the most adorable skirt ever i've been wanting a midi skirt for so long for specifically for my birthday party but also just to wear in general because like my theme is like fairy garden type theme and i feel like uh, like a mini skirt is so like perfect and like this top looks so cute with it I don't know if I'm gonna wear this for sure yet for my party like I don't know if I'm gonna wear the top yet but I feel like it is really cute with it yeah I literally found this at TJ Maxx such a steal I've been looking for them everywhere and I have not been able to find one and they had this perfect one it's so pretty here is it in the full view it's literally adorable all right guys, so I just got showered and now I'm going to show you guys everything that we got at TJ Maxx and HomeGoods. So, like I said, this is all for my wrapping paper game. I don't know if we have enough yet, but we got most of the stuff. First thing we got at TJ Maxx, we found this head massager. I've always wanted one of these. And yeah, I just feel like this would be a fun little gift to get. I don't know, I would be excited about it. Then we found this. It's perfect for the theme because it's like a little mushroom notepad and then... It comes with this little, like, cute pen, too. I don't know. It's just, like, perfect for the theme. It's so cute. Then I got this little Bob Ross paint-by-the-number thing. You literally get, like, a mini canvas and mini paints, and, like, you get to, like, paint them. I just thought that was so cute, and I just did, like, a Bob Ross tutorial with my one friend, and we painted something, so, like, this is kind of fun. Then we also got this uh, shampoo and scalp brush. I've literally always wanted to try one of these. Like, in the shower, it, like, cleans your scalp really good. We're also, we're gonna, like, pair some of these things up. So, like, some people will get, like, this with, like, something. So, actually, I think we're gonna put this with this, maybe. But I got this really pretty little makeup bag. Like, butterflies, so I thought it kind of went with the theme. We also got these really adorable hair clips. They're, like, butterflies. And they're like claw clips but little small ones so like they'd be perfect if you did like half up half down and then you like put one of these in the back like and they're also with the theme of like the garden and stuff and then the last thing we got super adorable blanket it has like little hedgehogs on it and like flowers and it's so soft and comfy this is from home goods actually i'm pretty sure i think everything else was tj maxx and also at home goods though we've got some wrapping paper oh and at at Home Goods we got these really pretty napkins. And then at Home Goods we got three different wrapping papers. This one is for the wrapping paper game. It's like just like floral. And then for my presents, my mom and sister got this floral one and then I picked out this one. It has like animals on it. It's probably for like a two year old, but it had elephants and I love elephants. And then I just I don't know, I liked it. It's like colorful and fun. So yeah, that is everything we got. Oh, we also got these plates for Easter, but that's not really part of this. Um, sorry about the, she's baking something. But yeah, that's everything we got. I'm so excited. Very successful shopping trip. And then I also got my skirt, which I love. 
so I just finished my dinner. I made salmon, it was so good, and I actually cooked it straight from the freezer because I looked it up and it said that you could. So yeah, and it turned out really, really good actually. It turned out better than usual. Oh, my dog's eating something. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna do a mini grocery haul because I got some really fun stuff. Also, uh, my sister baked some like fun little spring cookies with like little flower m and things. I'm gonna do a mini grocery haul because I got fun stuff like I said. Cause tomorrow I'm gonna make a fun dinner. So first thing, not very exciting, but I got some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Then I got two peppers. I have never cooked with peppers before, so I'm excited. And then this is also different than anything I've ever made. I bought some mushrooms. I mean, actually, I love mushrooms. I'm having a mushroom party, but I've never actually made mushrooms. I tried them one time before, and I didn't really think they tasted like too much of anything. Like, I just had one. I don't know. I thought it tasted pretty good. I don't know. So I'm gonna make this like pasta with like mushrooms, red pepper, tomato. I forget if it has spinach. I think it does. I got spinach. And also, I'm gonna be trying chickpea pasta. So I got this bonza rigatoni. It's made from like chickpeas. I have always wanted to try this. Like you don't even know. I am so excited. I love chickpeas. I mean, obviously I don't know if they're gonna actually taste like that. But like, I'm so excited to try this. So yeah, that'll be my fun dinner tomorrow. I saw it on Instagram. That's like where I get most of my recipes from. But I think I may end today's vlog here just because the rest of the night I'm just gonna relax. Yeah, pretty much not really do too much, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.